We begin with the death toll from the fires in Maui, and it continues to rise this morning. So far, 93 bodies have been pulled from the ashes, but officials warn that number is expected to grow in the coming days. The Lahaina fire has now become the deadliest fire in the U.S. in the past 100 years. FEMA's chief visited Maui on Saturday to see the devastation firsthand, and she spoke with residents who have lost everything. And she also heard harrowing tales of how they survived when so many didn't. I heard their stories. I heard their harrowing stories of escape, um, evacuating, then evacuating again, um, a car that was caught on fire, then they got into somebody else's car. Yet what I always find, even at, during these incredibly tragic times, is this resilience of a community to come together and support each other, and that's what I saw. And in the midst of just so much tragedy, we are also seeing some stories of hope. Mike Cicino captured terrifying videos of the flames approaching as he tried to flee the fires last week. The Lahaina resident believed that he was going to die. So he called his family and he said his goodbyes. He and his wife got trapped on Lahaina and were forced to jump over the seawall to try to stay safe from the flames and they made it out. But with no cell service, he hasn't been able to tell his family that he is alive but eventually they were reunited. Look at this. All right, Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and double salutations to all you Akim out the laboring, the house of David, the elect, that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity, shalom to you brothers, and shalom to the elect. I'm back with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakak and I'm going to jump straight into this article. This is from CNN.com, and the title it reads, and this, uh, this post came uh, August 14th, 2023, but the title it reads, The death toll from the Maui wildfires has climbed to 99. Here's what we know about the deadliest U.S. fire in over a century. All right. So this is the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai making a statement that he's about to bring judgment by fire. OK, and this is how Babylon, the great America is going to go out. OK, with, with with a great destruction, nuclear war, man. OK, and um, also in this lesson, I just wanted to analyze that people are starting to realize that this disaster that happened wasn't a natural disaster. This actually came from, um, you know, they're speculating about, you know, this happened from uh, direct energy weapons, which is abbreviated for do, because Esau has that power on the left hand to make fire rain down from heaven, as the scriptures say, you know, so there's a lot of speculation on the internet that's going around different videos showing that this, is, this was nowhere near being a natural uh, uh, wildfire, all right? Jumping down here, it says, Crews in West Maui are doing the devastating work of sifting through the ashes of incinerated homes and beloved landmarks as the death toll from the deadliest U.S. fire in more than 100 years is still rising. So they're still finding dead bodies in the midst of the ash. Okay? The Lord said, Have, have an evil been done in the city and I, the Lord, have not done it? As of Monday afternoon, officials confirmed 99 people have died up to the previous count of 96. Hawaiian Governor, Hawaii Governor Josh Green told CNN Monday the death toll would likely increase very significantly and could double over the next 10 days. So they're going to they're going to continue to find bodies on top of bodies, man. All right. This was a terrible judgment. You see? But, hey, the Lord is, is turning things up, okay? The Lord is plaguing America on every side, you know? It says the names of the victims, the names of the victims whose families have been notified will be released Tuesday. Maui Police Department Chief John Pelletier announced during a news conference Monday. An unknown number of people are still unaccounted for as search teams with cadaver dogs look for remains in devastated neighborhoods, <clears throat> Salakia. As cadaver dogs 
look for remains in devastated neighborhoods. A lot of people had to run and left all of what they had behind. So they did so they don't have their phones green at it. Right. So and there's videos of like hundreds of people that had to jump in the ocean just to escape the fire and the ashes and smoke. You know? They had to literally stand, you know, in, in, in the ocean up to like basically like they waste, you know, just so they wouldn't die in those fires, you know. And those videos are all on the internet. So this um this destruction that happened out there was crucial, man. You know, it says the governor said his heart the governor said his heart goes also goes out to people who haven't been able to return to Lahaina, but emphasized the importance of allowing first responders time and space to identify the deceased. It says, um finishing it out here, uh jumping down. Maui wildfires leave a trail of death and destruction. Yeah, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. All right, another omen as I did the previous lesson. It says, as the, as the death toll rises, officials are facing questions about their preparation for a disaster of this scale and their response to it, okay? It says, while the deadly fire rapidly, while the deadly fire spread rapidly into neighborhoods, the largest siren system in the world was silent, you see? Emergency communications with residents were largely limited to mobile phones and broadcasters at a time when the most when most power and cell and cell service was already knocked out, man. So this was a this was a terrible judgment, man. Okay? And this is all a sign for what's to come upon all of America, you know? But getting back to the point here, all right? Let's get this article too. All right, this is from International Business Times. It says, fact check. Were the Maui wildfires in Hawaii caused by a direct, directed energy weapon attack? Now, anytime Esau presents this fact check stuff, there's some validity to the story. You know, because he, he uses this fact check when, when, when people start to uh, really question and realize what's really happening. OK, this fact check stuff is used to, you know, to to offset the narrative, you know, to 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 change the narrative. You know, uh, it was false. This didn't happen. Well, we're going to show you here and you be the judge. Right. But it says fact check where the Maui wildfires in Hawaii caused by a directed energy weapon attack. While the narrator, while the narrator may have mentioned mention it as a direct energy weapon, the accurate term is directed energy weapon often abbreviated as do okay it says the deadly wildfire that began on, on the hawaiian island of maui has claimed nearly 100 lives and hundreds are missing while there is no sign of the wildfire stopping anytime soon several claims have surfaced online with one being the wildfire was caused by a direct a direct energy weapon assault however that is not true as they say, right? However, that is not true. There is no evidence that the wildfire was started by a, quote, direct energy weapon assault. It is probable that natural factors rather than a direct energy weapon are responsible for the wildfires. However, the claim has gone viral. And many have started believing in the conspiracy, right? Now, you know, there's been claims, you know, People in California said the same thing. They saw a beam come from the heavens, which, you know, escalated those fires out there in California a couple years ago. You know, here's some pictures, you know. Let me jump down a little bit. All right. Here's a video here from Ohio. I'm going to play a better one. All right. Because people have, have taken pictures and they saw the beam of light come from the sky and set the city ablaze, right? Yeah, Canton Township of Ohio, right? People saw the same thing. That beam that came from the heavens that lit the uh that lit the town on fire. Right? Let me show you this video here. Okay, this happened in Canton Town, Ohio. Right? Someone hit it. Oh no.
right, so you can clearly see something beaming from the heavens, man. You know, and this happened in Ohio, right? So the 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 story is not is not far fetched. You know, there's some validity to this thing. It says, according to the U.S. Government Accountability Office website, directed in, directed energy weapons are defined as directed energy weapons such as lasers, use energy fired use energy fired at the speed of light. These weapons can produce force that ranges from deterrent to damaging to destructive. Many countries, including the U.S., are researching their use because they use energy instead of, of bullets or missiles. Directed energy weapons could be less expensive per shot and have virtually unlimited firing power, firing power. It says, however, the long term health effects of these weapons are unclear. They also generally have a shorter range than conventional weapons and weather conditions such as fog and storms and can make certain directed energy weapons less effective all right it says moreover the same conspiracy theory went viral during the california wildfires in 2021 and people were saying the same thing right there was videos there was pictures of of that beam of light such as this one here that came down before those wildfires were escalated in california man all right so let me get a quick scripture and we'll play Another video because he was given that power on the left hand, you know. This is Revelation chapter six and verse four, and it reads, it says, and there went out another horse that was red. All right. That that red horse symbolizes Esau Edom. All right. That horse is tied back to what? The power. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him. You see, power was given to Esau to do what? That set there on to take peace from the earth. All right. So through his power is why there is no peace on the earth. This is why there's wars, death, bloodshed. All right. You know, all types of biological warfare going on. You know. It says to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Right. And remember, part of Esau's blessing was his sword, man. And that sword comes in 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 in, uh, uh, in different variations, man. All right, and part of the sword that we're talking about in this lesson is that this uh, this do this direct energy weapon, you know, that's part of his uh, his his uh, his technology, man. His 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 nuclear capability. He has the satellites in the heavens that are able to uh, shoot these beams down on the earth, right? Just to solidify, let's play this. or green or something like that uh, real lasers one of the key advantages that they provide is that they are invisible you actually can't see them you just see this damage suddenly starting to blow something up uh, so if we take a look now at what the Athena did to a truck so we're looking at a truck engine and the Athena within seconds was able to beam right in there heat the whole thing up and burn through the engine of this vehicle so if you can imagine if you were in that vehicle all of a sudden this hole would start appearing in your engine and the whole thing would just disappear. That's what these lasers do. Now there's some other key advantages that we should mention. Let me give you three of them. One, unlimited ammo. As long as we have power, we have an unlimited magazine. And downrange, of course, having unlimited ammo can be a huge advantage. Second, it's silent. You don't give the enemy any advance warning that it's coming. And then the third one I wanted to touch on is that it travels at the speed of light. So not only are we delivering powerful, powerful, powerful decisive right so you be the judge okay and this is why he's trying to control the merit the, the i said the merit the narrative all right he's he's been he's been found out all right genesis 27 and 38 and it reads it says and esau said unto his father has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also O oh, my father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling should be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. All right. So Esau would have basically the dominion, you know, over the earth on this side at this time. Right. The dew of heaven from above. Right. Because he has, you know, the satellites and the energy weapons in the, in the heavens. You know, so that's why it's 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 heavy, you know. 
that this uh this weaponry was called the the do all right directed energy directed energy weapon you know the do of heaven this is spiritual man all right he has he has that power on the left hand right but he was but he was given the dominion over the earth the fatness of the earth the riches you know the substance thereof or whatnot you know this is his heaven um, verse 40, it says, and by thy sword, thou shalt live his blessing and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion and thou shalt break the yoke from off thy neck. So that's the point that I wanted to touch there. The do of heaven. All right. It's all spiritual. Okay. Obadiah one verse three, and it reads, it says the pride of thy heart have deceived thee. Thou dwellest, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Whose habitation is high, that save in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that's the uh, that's the mindset of the Edomite that he'll never be in adversity, he'll never fall from power. Verse four of the point it says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, right? He has the satellites, you know, the international space station, he has the uh the weaponized, you know, uh satellites that can bring forth these beams down to earth. Right. Like the brother said, you know, the elder brothers were saying he's he's weaponized everything, man. You know, he's weaponized the heavens. He can he this is this is why he thinks he's the most high. He can make fire come down from heaven. You know, it says. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, right, he's in the heavens. Thence will I bring thee down, say of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai. So the Lord is going to physically bring this man's power down to the ground. Okay, he thinks that he's the he thinks he's the most high. Right? Revelation chapter 13. Okay? Revelation 13 and 12, it says, and he, exer and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, which is the Roman the Roman Empire. It says, and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. All right, because now we're in the time of the uh, of the revised roman empire which is being spearheaded by america nato and the eu all right the point verse 13 it says and he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on earth on the earth in the sight of men you see that and that's going back to his blessing the sword all right he was given that power to make fire come down from heaven on the earth going back to what the do the direct energy weapons as we just saw here Right, that's part of his blessing. That was the that was the uh, uh, that's that. Hey, he's the left hand of the Most High, man. He was he has been given that ability to do this, all right, through his nuclear technology, right, his nuclear weaponry. Th those are part of his uh, uh, his great wonders, right. Strong's G forty five ninety two, Semayon, Semayon. For that word wonders right a sign mark token that it, that by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others is known a sign prodigy portent an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature right because hey this this is a miracle right you know going back Verse 14, the dece uh, Revelation 13 and 14, it deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. He's been given that power, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of, to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and, and did live. All right. Which is the point here. All right. So, you know, these are the things that are being analyzed. People are questioning. Right. But like I said, you be the judge, you know. The people are understanding and they're understanding that this man is the is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. All right. So he's been he's being found out, he's being exposed as usual. All right. You have the, the mainstream narrative, you know, but people really know what's going on. You know, people caught, you know, that uh uh you know, that beam of light coming uh coming from the heavens, you know, in uh various parts of the world, you know. So he has that that power, that technology, you know. So that's pretty much the point there, man. I pray that this uh, quick lesson was edifying. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, and Shalom to the next one. Shalom.
This is some of the drone footage of the absolute devastation of Lahaina. This is where a wildfire occurred. Um, wildfires don't do this. In the middle of this mass devastation, which looks like an a, a explosion happened, there are trees that are standing. There are telephone poles that are standing. But it's okay because the governor said it was climate change. This is the same governor who said that the state is looking for ways to acquire Lahaina. There are investors and realtors who are actively calling these individuals who have lost everything and asking them if they can buy their land. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm, to the left. Next month in September, Hawaii is hosting a digital government summit utilizing AI to govern the island. In January, there is set to be a smart city conference in Maui to change everything over to electric and to discuss how to make the island a 15 minute city, a 15 minute island. Okay, yeah, but let's just continue to make it rain on the crane. This is presenting, this is creating a problem so that they can present a solution. Instagram, don't forget the little ticker at the bottom.